When we harness the opportunities of neuroplasticity, we have an incredible ability to build the brain with which we want to navigate the world. Every day we have positive experiences, and yet as humans, we are biologically designed to seek out the negative things that happen, because those are the things that threaten our survival. Neuroplasticity empowers us to lean into the positive, to really saturate ourselves in the positive space, and to build intentional neural networks for those felt sense experiences that we want more of. This is a guided exercise that brings us back to the Creating Possibilities protocol to deepen a felt sense of something we would like more of in this moment and that we would like to bring with us into the rest of our day. As we begin, I'd like to invite you to simply find a comfortable seated position. And as you do so, notice the weight of your body, your feet on the ground, gentle inhalation and exhalation of your breath. If you would like to welcome in the self-havening touch that will strengthen the neuroplasticity experience of this guided meditation, of course, do what feels best for your mind and your body. And if perhaps you'd simply like to gently rest your hands or even hold your heart space. That's wonderful too. Our intention right now is to be in deep relationship with self, to honor the information that our mind and our body carries, and to build a positive neural network of whatever desire you have for your emotional state right now. Welcoming in another gentle breath. I'd like to invite you to move your attention to the tippy top of your head and to simply move into your mind and your body and start traveling through your system, greeting yourself all the way down to the tippy toes of your toes. Simply welcoming an awareness of our physical being as we begin to attune and tend to our emotional world. Continuing to gently breathe in and slowly release the breath. I invite you now to start to ponder a felt sense that you would like more of in this moment. Perhaps a feeling of being calm and relaxed. The opportunity of being excited and curious. Whatever that experience is that you would like more of right now. And as you begin this internal inquiry, continue connecting your breath and your body, noticing how your mind and your body exist in relationship to one another. Deepening your breath, inviting your diaphragm to expand, slowly releasing air as you exhale. And once you've found your desired state, let's begin with that inquiry. What if I was? And repeat that question silently in your mind, filling in that blank with your desired state. What if I was? And as you notice your chosen state, gently breathing in the possibility, what if? And does that state have a color? Can you think of a time when you felt this experience in the past? 
And if it does, if it has a color, perhaps a scent, or if something comes to mind where you remember feeling this way, invite that experience to become the center of your attention. And again, ask, what if I was welcoming and enhancing this possibility? Now, perhaps your mind is feeling like, yes, that what if is fulfilled, that is now a real possibility. And if it has moved to that state, let's check in and say, hmm, can I be? Again, filling in the blank with that chosen experience. Can I be calm? Can I be curious? Whatever your state is, again, gently continuing to breathe in, enhancing and expanding. Notice the possibility of perhaps even starting to embody that state. If that feels possible for you, let's move into I can be. It can be whatever that chosen experience is. And for some of us, we may still be in the gentle planting seeds of the what if. And noticing and acknowledging that, validating that what if is loving and kind. Being in deep relationship with our mind and our body, exploring new opportunities. So if there's a felt sense of I can be, continue to gently state that in your mind. Completing that sentence, I can be, with your chosen state. And also equally honoring, I can be. Can I be? And the what ifs. Continuing to gently focus on the sensory experience, the felt sense of this energetic state. And perhaps your mind has jumped forward to, wow, I am in this moment embodying this experience. If your system has taken you there, that's powerful and wonderful. Let's move into that ownership, the I am. I am calm. I am rejuvenated, whatever it might be. And noticing that every step along the way is valuable. The what ifs to the I ams are honoring and loving our mind and our body. Now wherever you are in relationship with this chosen state, I'd like to invite you to start moving through the rest of your day, continuing to breathe in the color, the felt sense, the scent, the feeling of this emotional experience energetic space and start inviting it into the moments that have yet to come. Start floating through your day and imagine carrying this beautiful moving energy with you. Continue to gently welcome it in with your breath. Deepening that breath and noticing what if where the I am as you travel into future moments. And when you're ready, gently bringing your attention back to the experience where you have felt this way before, or the colors that this felt sense is made up of, the sensory experiences of it and returning back to your felt truth statement, whether it be the what if, I can be, 
perhaps an I will be, or I am. Repeating that statement more times in your mind as you continue to breathe in. Welcoming this felt sense to deepen into your body. Noticing energy as being in that space. What it feels like to be in deep relationship with this experience knowing that at any time you can choose to return to this felt sense you can choose to wake up these neural networks and embody this again because you've begun to plant the seed for a beautiful new neural network what ifs the candies the ims a representative of growth happening in your mind in your so I encourage you to continue to check back in on this felt sense as you move through your day, just like you imagine doing right now. Building this new felt sense, this new way of 